Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office now responding after a violent encounter between a suspect and police was captured on cell phone video. And just hours ago, JSO released two body cam videos of that incident. It happened two nights ago during a traffic stop in a store parking lot off Kings Road. The family of 30 year old Natra Jones said that he was beaten by officers. Jones charged with resisting arrest and possessing cocaine and drug paraphernalia. And he was released from jail this morning after posting bond. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joins us live from JSO headquarters now to break down the video and the arrest. Eric. Well, Mary, all three of those videos are very disturbing, and despite how bad it looks, investigators here at JSO headquarters say the officers involved did not violate any state laws or JSO policies. In this cell phone video, we see a scuffle between 30-year-old Natra Jones and more than one police officer trying to arrest him after finding cocaine and drug paraphernalia during a traffic stop. From this angle, we can't see what Jones is doing with his hands, but we can see what appears to be officers striking Jones in an attempt to place handcuffs on him. 46 seconds into the video, one officer appears to be holding Jones from behind, while another officer has him in a headlock and delivers two uppercut blows to his face. He eventually goes down, and then we hear him being tased. This man says he was out here when it happened. And you had one police officer just wailing on him with this nightstick. You know, it didn't, it didn't make no sense. Another angle of the encounter was from one of the officer's body cameras. As police were attempting to put Jones into handcuffs, this happened. Oh, you're about to get stop, stop, stop or I'm going to put you on the ground. Stop or I'm going to put you on the ground. Stop or I'm going to put you on the ground. Then we hear Jones being tased. Get on the ground. Put your hands on your back. I'm on the ground. Put your hands on your back. From this third angle, we see more of what's happening, and we hear one of the officers say he's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. I don't got no gun. What y'all talking about a gun? Prior to the release of the body cam video, former JSO officer turned security expert James Brown was only able to see the cell phone video. He says seeing a suspect getting punched in the face while in a headlock was troubling. It's very dangerous because you got an individual's um, head, which is, you know, you got the carotid artery, the neck. There's a lot of things that could go wrong with that, you know, especially with the head being in that lock and you got the the individual's body weight and then delivering punches. Brown also says that when you have multiple officers on scene, there should be a coordinated effort to take a suspect into custody to avoid the appearance of police brutality. If you have multiple officers going after one individual, you can easily get confused in the struggle to where you're working against yourself. Now, although in that body cam video, we hear one of the officers say he has a gun, uh, no gun was found in Jones's possession. Court records show that Jones has a long criminal history involving the sale of illegal narcotics. Now, his mother told me over the phone earlier today that despite his criminal background, she felt her son did not deserve to be beaten. Reporting live from outside JSO headquarters, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.